Hello everyone, this is Lloyd from the Airgun Lab. I've got a test set up that I'm going to show you. It's for high pressure testing. I'm going to be using it in the not too distant future in another video. It is for getting very high pressures through hydraulic. I've got an air over hydraulic multiplication cylinder right here. So we'll take a look at this cylinder up at the top end and here we've got an inch and an eighth bore in it and down at the bottom and this inch and an eighth bore is where the air comes in it feeds in through this line up here then down at the bottom we've got a hydraulic cylinder in here so this air inch and eighth pressurizes this hydraulic and the piston for the hydraulic is 0.482 diameter and the hydraulic pressure comes out of the bottom down here. Now we're going to be pressurizing this air at the top with my hand pump right here and the hand pump let's see if we can zoom in a little bit here. Okay, The gauge says it goes up to about 6,000 I've only been able to pump it up to about like maybe 3,300 or so, but we're going to be quite a bit less than that today. So the line coming out of the hand pump is going to it's going over to this manifold block, coming into the top of the manifold block, and then I've got a pressure gauge here on the manifold block. It goes up to 4,000. Like I said, we're not going to be going up anywhere near that. And the air comes out of the manifold block. This line here goes up and then into the top of the cylinder to pressurize that piston, which is going to drive the smaller piston rod into the hydraulic. Then the hydraulic pressure is going to come out of the bottom and it's going into this gauge block right here and it's just dead ended here. And let's see if we can get the, the uh, okay. So that does say 6,000, it goes up to 6,000 PSI. That's the highest one that I have uh, at this time. And if we take a look at the math on this, The air cylinder at the top, 1.18 diameter, and the rod that pushes on the oil, 0.482, and the ratio of the areas is 5.4 to 1, so that means we're going to get about a 5.4 to 1 multiplication on the pressure. So I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, recorder on a tripod, and we'll go ahead and see what this does. Okay, we're set up, ready to do some testing now. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the gauges. Okay, you can see both gauges there right now. And it's a little difficult to see the 6,000 PSI one, but that is the same gauge. So I'm going to start pumping the air with the hand pump. We'll get the air out of the lines. Excuse me, we'll compress the air in the top cylinder. I've already bled the hydraulic side of it. it took a while to do that. All right, you can see we're starting to move already. And I'm gonna keep pumping here. Okay, we're at about 500 on the low pressure side. Going up here. Okay, we're about at 4,000 on the high pressure. Keep going. 1,000. 
and the low. Okay, we'll right at 6,000 it looks like. These gauges are not terribly accurate, the small ones. They're about plus or minus at least 5%, 5 to 10%. So that's where we set right now. Right at 6,000, almost. I'm going to hit it again. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bleed the other side, bleed the air, and we'll see what we get. So anyway, had a pretty easy time going up to 6,000 PSI with hydraulic, and I've got some plans for using that not too far in the future.